ladies and gentlemen, my name is Marco Ornale, 747 home cockpit, full size cockpit, a small uh, series of uh, short videos uh, just to talk about the cockpit in details covering each area. If I missed anything, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. So the last video I want to do in this series is about uh, why FS9. So let me put the volume down. Let me put the volume down so you can hear me well. So of course, again, I, let me repeat one more time. I own a computer store, so I can use anything I want as far as programs and hardware. The reason why I decided to stay with the FS9, even though a lot of people call it obsolete, is simply this FSX FSX or FS10 to me it was a big uh, blunder on Microsoft size side uh, it is the same I compare it again with uh, Windows Vista Windows Vista was basically a rushed Windows 7 uh, when uh, we used to use Windows XP before and it was really really good people loved it what happened was Microsoft uh, when they they were um, uh, going to release uh, Windows Vista, uh, they were basically late by two years. Anyways, I'm not saying that that's what happened because you see, Windows XP was basically an improved uh, Windows 2000 and an improved Windows 98 and so on. So that was an improvement. But when it came to Windows Vista, that was a totally from the ground up remanufacturing of the operating system and so it took uh, a couple of years longer than they thought and in my opinion and in an opinion of a lot of technicians as, as such as myself they released unfinished unfinished meaning uh you know just let's just put it out there and then eventually we will uh, will uh, make uh, service packs and I, if i remember correctly there were service three service packs for windows vista and so they released it bloated, extremely heavy. So computers, people that uh, people that had uh, Windows XP in their computers and they were happy with their format, they up upgraded it to Windows Vista and I did so many of them, it's not even funny. And all of a sudden their computer, instead of them becoming better, as you would expect, it would become slower and uh, it just, it, it, was, it, was, it was ridiculous. Of course, being a technician, I knew how to tune it, I knew how to remove a lot of components that you don't need and I could make it fast. But again, Windows XP was way superior than Windows Vista was. So then two or three years later after Windows Vista was released, so then they released Windows 7. Windows 7, it's what Windows Vista was supposed to be in the first place. And Windows 7 of course now was Windows Vista with another two, three years on it. And basically refined and all the all the bugs ironed out and of course Windows 7 ended up being the workhorse and in my opinion the best operating system Microsoft has ever released I mean uh, yes Windows 10 looks good uh, it looks like it's got potential but it's incompatible with a lot of a lot of things that us uh, simulate um, flight simulators use and so uh, as for as long as I can I'm going to use Windows 7 I don't care when they discontinue, they're going to, it's already discontinued, but they're going to end the support in 2020, totally. Uh, I don't care, as far as I'm concerned, it works fine on my sim, and uh, that is uh, okay for me. Eventually, of course, I was rich. But, let's go back to the simulator. Uh, but, just to make the analogy, FSX, in my opinion, was the same thing Microsoft did with Windows Vista, did with FSX. They took a perfectly beautiful, perfectly working 2004 FS9, which was basically built upon the previous version FS5 and FS2000 and 2002 and so on and so forth, and it was made, it was phenomenal. Now, why phenomenal? Because extremely good looking, but also extremely light on the system. Now, so as the components in your computer get better and better, uh, basically, uh, FS9, it's like a breeze on, an, on an i7 or an i5 or even an i3. FS9 is a breeze to run, so it allows you to basically pump everything else up. I mean, my sliders in my simulator are all the way up, all around. But that's not the only reason why I'm still using FS9. It, the, the real reason is because uh, over the years, over the last 10 years, I bought a truckload a truckload of add-ons and airports and custom this and custom that and to be totally honest with you it runs so good so smooth there is basically nothing left of the original FS9 even the scenery I, I, I found but someone in Russia 
took the orbs um, world scenery and they uh, ported it to FS9. It must have taken a ton of work. But basically, you know, I wish Orbis would have done. And by the way, I must have spent $3,000 on the Orbis website. I mean, I have most of the airports, but uh, they don't make 2004 airports anymore. And that's a pity. So, uh, you know, so someone in Russia took the time to take the Orbis uh, FSX wall scenery and ported it to FS2004. So with that alone, FS9 2004, it was transformed like you won't even believe. And then, of course, wreck simulation sky and clouds and and uh, specially made uh, water from designer tech modified as well. Now, I'm also happen to be a graphic artist, so I actually make my own scenery. You know, it takes me months and months. But basically, you know, I wasn't happy with any of the water out there, uh, you know. And so I took a combination of designer tech and other programs. I fixed it in Photoshop uh, uh, using the real photographs from real water. And I have a, a gorgeous looking water like you won't even believe it. And this goes for a lot of things. I actually went on uh, my buildings, my houses and my supermarkets and my uh, uh, building, uh, uh, apartment buildings and condos and so on and so forth in FS. I took one at a time and I had the shading as around the windows and I had the shadings at the bottom and grass. I even made my own grass. I mean, there's so much customization, so many years invested. And that is why I'm so reluctant to switch to uh, 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 prepare 3D. And now, to be totally honest, I am not a, I mean, I am not dummy. I know that eventually I have no choice. But you know what? I've downloaded, I purchased prepare 3D, believe it or not, three times. Version 2, version 3, version 4. And yeah, version 4 was the latest one, three times. So I download it, I install it. Of course, out of the box, it looks like crap. It looks worse than you know fsx almost now and then of course i have to in order to make the uh, the the out of the box prepared 3d looks half decent i have to basically redo all the work i've done with fs9 all the way from the beginning and that is such an enormous amount of work yes of course in the end i will end up with 10 15 20 percent better but I have to invest three years of work and who knows how many uh, uh, thousands of dollars to buy, to repurchase all of these airports. I mean, I must have 300 custom airports, you know, you name it, I have it, all the major hubs. Uh, so, of course, this is doable. But the problem is when I look at my FS9 and it looks so gorgeous and it runs so smooth and I get frame rates of upwards of 150, 200 which, by the way, I limit to 25. As you know, it's uh, redundant to have more than 25 frame rates uh, on a system. Um, so when you consider all of that, that is why, my friends, I decided to stay with FS9, at least for now. Yes, eventually I will. I, it's not, no, there is no, no, no question that I eventually will switch to prepare 3D. But I'm actually waiting for something perhaps even better. I mean, FS2... It looks gorgeous. They have still have a lot of work to do. They, there's a lot of things missing, but FS2 looks gorgeous. And perhaps somebody else will make something else. So for now, I am okay with FS9. And that answers the question. A lot of people ask me, why is this FS9? is obsolete. Well, not in my books. I mean, my simulator runs and looks gorgeous. And uh, so it's not up obsolete to me. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. And uh, again, if you have any other questions, you just let me know and I will address them as, uh, as it goes, okay? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and uh, keep on flying high. Thank you. Bye-bye.